Hello everyone, this is Paul from More Family Val Pal. With me I have Steve. Steve is 73 years old and um, about two months ago developed this severe amount of low back pain and then he started to develop some pain going into the right leg. The low back pain started to go away and then he had paresthesia and pain in the front of the leg and um, then the pain started to subside but he continued to have some weakness and so what I want to do is just a brief evaluation today to talk to you about an L3 nerve root compression which he has which he's had an MRI and it shows a very very large L3 herniated disc um, I just want to show you what this presents like and how it's different from an L3, L4 and even uh, I mean an L4, L5 and S1 um, so one of the things I start with is reflex testing to find and it's it's a little difficult to see probably on the video because it's so subtle but he has a little there on that side and it's less on this side so there's a little L3, L4 um, and then S1 is equal bilaterally we've tested that when I check his sensation he's equal on both sides if I do a sitting straight leg raise test that does not increase your pain and he doesn't have any pain at the present time but his big complaint is weakness, okay? So we've already tested S1, uh, plantar flexion. Let's hold the big toes up. Hold there, hold, hold this one. Hold, hold, hold. He's at good resistance. Hold the foot up toward the ceiling. Don't let me push it down. Nice resistance there. Hold here, good. Quads are not bad, hold comes right up off the table so he's demonstrating good strength there but check this out you get to put your hands on the table I want you to lift this leg up for me and hold give me everything you've got lots of resistance there and let's lift this one up and I can collapse him real easy on this side now remember he had back pain to start with and then he developed a leg pain after that that's not uncommon okay with a herniated disc when the ring of the disc starts to the annular ring starts to tear that causes a lot of localized spasm but once it completely disrupts and there's no more tension between the rings there's less localized pain but then he starts to develop back pain because the disc material is now hitting the nerve root which is going down and and uh, hitting the um, L4 nerve and giving him some trouble and weakness so our, our issue here is that he doesn't have a lot of pain doesn't have a lot of paresthesia anymore but he has a lot of weakness and he's progressively getting weaker um, even with the course of therapy that we've given him um, he just continues to get weak so he is going to be seeing his neurosurgeon uh, again for the evaluation and uh, determination on if he should have that uh, nerve root decompressed to give that nerve a, a fighting chance to get better and heal and hopefully ultimately get better and stronger over time it's a tough situation because it doesn't have a lot of pain associated with it anymore um, but the, weak, the weakness is becoming a little more disabling with everyday activities especially uh, going down stairs or, or going down a decline um, the other thing I want to demo on, a, on an L3 is that um, you know oftentimes you don't get a positive straight leg raise so if you could lie right down in your back okay. I'm gonna lift that leg that doesn't shoot pain down the leg does it no okay and we don't have any problems on this side either No. okay but can we have you flip over onto your stomach oh. yeah. and this is interesting this is people with like an L3 and L2 typically have more tension when you put them in this position and you flex that, that or stretch that quad, that's not too bad. No, no, no. Okay. Yep. And what about this one? Yeah, upper thumb. That's yeah. quite a bit worse on the right side, isn't yeah, it? Almost twice. Okay. So he says it's twice as painful in the upper thigh on this side than it is on this side. And when we have him trying to do a hip flexor stretch, it really kills him. So it's kind of like that reverse straight leg raise um, and you can go ahead and sit right up. Um, and that's also a sign. So if you don't have a strong loss of reflex, loss of sensation, or a positive straight leg raise test, doesn't mean he doesn't have a herniated disc. The L3 is just a little harder to identify because of its distance up the spine. Um, so um, I, he's going to be seeing his, uh, his neurosurgeon in a couple days. We'll see what they say. Uh, in the meantime, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comments section of the uh, video. And uh, please uh, feel free to get in touch with me at paulaorthovalpal.com. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Take care.